Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Planet and Prospering. My name is Linnell, and I want to welcome you to my Christmas vlog, meaning I am going to record tidbits of me every day for the time that I'm off for Christmas break from my main job, which is teaching. There will be other videos, but I'm just going to do this one to try something new. So, I, as, as you can tell, I am still in bed, but I'm about to get up. It is... What time? I think my watch is dead. I think it's almost 6 o'clock, somewhere around 6 o'clock. And I am about to get up. Yes, I know it's my break. I should be sleeping in, but I'm just not built that way. See you in a little while. I'm not doing many or anything for that matter on camera um, because there's just so much to do. And I only have a limited amount of time, but I did have this, get this wood um, pile cleaned up and I had another load delivered. Uh, I love wood burning heaters and it just feels so good and comfy when it's getting cold outside. This pile of uh, leaves right here, I'm going to burn those and I'll show you that um, before I end the video. So the project I'm trying to work on now is getting the plastic up um, around the coop for the chickens and uh, so they can stay good and warm. Um, we've had some really cold nights down in the low 30s. That's cold for here in South Carolina, um, but nonetheless cold. And I'm trying to get the plastic up. I'll show you the end result. Hello guys, it's a new day. It is Friday. Friday, yeah, Friday, and uh, the coop and the plastic installment was a complete bust. I'm gonna turn you around and let you see that. I couldn't get the staple gun to work. I don't know if it was just um, a bad one and it's just not working, or if I installed, when I put the staples in, I did something wrong. Um, I don't know, but I couldn't get the staple to work. So I'm out here today with, believe it or not, tax i um refuse to buy another one and i'm going to wait till i have someone come by um that can look at it and uh, see if it's, it can be salvaged and then i can use it to come back out and tighten up whatever i end up doing today but for now i'm just going to take some tax and um and put them up Well, this is still not turning out the way I expected it, but it will have to last, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will last until, like I said, I can get my someone, um, the next man who comes by to check my staple gun and see what's going on with it. Um, I really don't want to buy another one. I'm trying not to buy another one, but we shall see. This is where I'm giving up at. The majority of the coop is protected. I'll put up the things that I had here before um, for rain. Um, I did put a tarp on this side, but this was a while back because it was raining so much. And I just decided to leave it there. I put some hay inside. You can see that. There's my ladies right there. And... Um, we'll go from here. So hello everyone, this is Saturday and um, I'm showing you this view of my den because there was a lot of stuff down here. And as you can see, there's a lot of cleaning I still need to do, but I have 
manage to dispose of or put away the things that I needed to put away. And this is what I've been working on all day today. I'll see you tomorrow. I have been gifted a, another load of wood and I am uh, desperately trying to make a makeshift wood rack. So I've been watching quite a few videos and I think I have enough materials to do one of them that I've seen and that's what I'm getting ready to do. Um, and I won't show you everything on camera because I just don't feel like setting up all that stuff, but I'll show you where I am right now. Let me turn you around. So I have this long board on my porch. Um, it's a little over 12 feet long and I'm gonna cut it in four feet sections. I have one already from something else and I have the cinder blocks that I need and I have my handy dandy circular saw that I've finally learned how to use and I feel a little bit more comfortable using um, but I'll show you at the end what this will turn out to be. Oh, I can also show you where it's going to go and I'm just going to kind of turn you around to keep from starting and restart, uh, stopping and restarting. But back there where you see the chairs and all of that junk, basically, that I haven't had time to dispose of properly. Um, that is where I'm gonna put this wood. It's a nice solid wall on the end of that storage. And um, I'll show you more as I get there. So this is the finished product. It's modified a tad bit from uh, any of the videos that I've seen where I have, instead of two boards down there i just have the one it's thinner than it should be i'm praying that it holds it is a, tr a piece of pressure treated wood um and i figured that would work since we have the the wall we have the block wall in the back back there so this is where the load of wood will go and i'll show you our pictures after it has been stacked there and right now I'm feeling pretty proud of myself, but we'll see. See you soon. So this is the finished product. I think it turned out really well to be DIY. And um, yeah, that is my biggest job for today. My son and the generous person that dropped the wood off um, unloaded it. And um, this is how I'm going to keep it. Have a good one. And I'll see you again soon.